Well, Abby and I are about to learn about something that sounds amazing, the Toastmasters. And that's right. Here to tell us all about it, we have Sue Kohler and also Rich Rogers. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. This is wonderful. So tell us about uh, Toastmasters. What is your organization about? Well, Toastmasters actually has been in Oklahoma for 75 years. We're wow. celebrating 75 years this year. So Happy we're, birthday. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> we develop speaking skills and leadership skills for individuals. When I first joined Toastmasters, I was white knuckle. I was terrified. Mm -hmm. And Toastmasters gave me that confidence to get up and speak before groups of people, plus a leadership. So it's amazing. We also have a speaker's bureau. One a person gets 10 speeches in his confidence communicator, or she, manual. They become what they call competent communicators. And they say, what else can I do? Well, we have a speaker's bureau. And we go out to different places, such as churches and civic groups and things like that. Sue, would you like to share a little bit about the Speakers Bureau? Certainly. <coughs> Excuse me. We have uh, 20 uh, members in our Speakers Bureau. There are 14 in the Oklahoma City metro area, four in the Tulsa metro area, and two from Enid. Mm -hmm. And these speakers come from a variety of backgrounds. We have business and professional people, consultants who have their own businesses, a minister, medical doctor, and teachers and trainers, retired persons, uh, just a lot of different uh, people yeah. with backgrounds. They have speeches ready on a variety of subjects, uh, can be on leadership, uh, presenting a keynote, and they give inspirational and motivational talks, uh, talks that deal with leadership, help people build business skills and personal skills also in relationships, just uh, almost anything you could want, and including humor. Most presentations, even if they are a serious presentation, will have an element of humor. And most of our speakers have at least one speech that is really targeted toward humor. Mm -hmm. now, that, that, would, we, that would all we would have. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, all right, that's pretty much it. <laughs> exactly. So when people want to be a Toastmaster, you always think of a public speaker as the person who maybe had a book and is in front of a thousand <laughs> people and ah, do this and that and motivating people. But can you help people who just have to get up and talk in front of 20 people at the office and maybe scared to death to even to do that? Oh, sure, sure. I was terrified. I passed a lot of opportunity for advancement because I would not get up and speak. Since I joined Toastmasters, I'm president for a dance club. I stand up and speak before 100 people. It gave us leadership skills where I'm able to have a, a board of doctors and attorneys and accountants. It gave me that leadership skills also. So Toastmasters really, it's baby steps or you can jump in with both feet. You can be white knuckle as I said, are a great speaker and want to polish your skills. Yeah. We have over 100, almost 90 clubs in Oklahoma. That's great. Wonderful. And if people want to get involved, how do they do that? They can go to toastmasters.org, which is the website of the international organization, our, our parent. And there is a link on the home page, uh, find a club near you. Just follow that link and follow the directions, put in your zip code, and it will give you a list of clubs in your immediate area. And then uh, contact information for those and just follow that, call them, uh, go to their website. Okay. Great. Perfect. And you'll, yeah. and you'll find them. Well, thank you both very much. We're going to get some tips from you after the show. Yeah. Just so you know. <laughs> thank you all so much. We appreciate it. It's time to toss it over to our live stage. Once again, here's Michael Clyde.